So, so Tyson, if he were to win, he would get all of your four belts. Um, unfortunately, he's not going to win, so... No, <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Fury, I want you to win. And you know what? When I said that, I meant it. But when I say it now, I mean this. <laughs> do you really mean it? I do mean it. I believe. Um, are you boxing fans? Do you ever do you like boxing, Emily? I mean, my dad and my brother are having. Just checking out AJ showing and telling uh, Jonathan Roos. Okay, um, Jonathan Roos is, or should I say, Jonathan Ross is a uh, famous British uh, television host. And he hosted Anthony Joshua on there. And he also had Tyson Fury on there. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I want you guys to check it out because it was some um, it was some funny stuff in there. And, um, you know, Anthony Joshua pretty much told him what was what. Like, no, he's not going to win, unfortunately. But Jonathan uh, Ross is a Tyson Fury fan. Of course, you know, he favors Tyson. And he explained why he favored Tyson. Uh, Tyson Fury has the gift of gab. Um, he has the ability to uh, connect with anyone he speaks to. Okay, let me give you guys an example. Recently, Tyson Fury just did a charity event with uh, with himself and um, Jorge Capatillo and Andy Ruiz, right? And you know over the past two years or so, He's been regarded to, to Andy uh, Ruiz as the little short fat man, right? That beat Anthony Joshua, you know, and he could beat uh, Andy Ruiz with one hand tied behind his back and this, that, and the other. And, you know, they've had words. However, what happened when they were face to face? Well, Tyson Fury turned that charm on, you know what I mean? He was, you know, and then everybody was all buddied up. Everybody was cool, calm, and collective, you know, and they did the show and they did this, um, charity event the way it's supposed to be done or the best that they can do it and they did it very well in my opinion you know and I think when he got he came on to Jonathan Ross's show Ross was like hey I like this guy over this other guy now Anthony Joshua was there like oh well I like you now but it just goes to show you that Tyson Fury is very very um engaging with people you know and he'll sit there and talk to you and just right off the whim whatever comes to bat he doesn't worry about what he said yesterday what he's going to say in the future what it, what he says right now that matters what he says because that's what's coming out of his mouth because that's how he's feeling at that point of time that's what i believe and i more more important uh, more importantly that's what he believes right and um let's listen to some more of this stuff good stuff and were you being a kiss ass? No, I was not. Here's the thing. He was comfortable. He was very comfortable with Tyson. But I was pleased he came on. But can I be honest with you? Before we came on the show, I kind of had formed an opinion, which was unfair. And when he was on the show, I really warmed to him. He's a, everyone's a nice person. He's very he? honest. He's very. Yeah. He's much more open, and he was very open about the struggles he said, like the mental health issues. Yes. Which of course is a very, it's a very endearing thing because it's that it's tough. You know, and for someone to go through that mental pressure and pull themselves back up, a lot of people are suffering in this world. Like, we put on a brave face, don't we? So he's kind of put his out to the world and let the world know that this is what I've gone through. So if I'm a boxer, heavyweight champ of the world, hard man, and I can go through it, yeah. it gives people hope. And it's a big I respect thing. it. 100%. You yeah, have yeah. to respect it. So, you're so, you know, Anthony Joshua is another guy that, you know, just, you know, that respects who and what Tyson Fury went through. Listen. Seriously, um, there are people that suffer with uh, mental health issues that take their life every day, just like that. You know, no joking, all that aside, this is serious. And people are mentally messed up. So what my what Tyson Fury did was Tyson Fury embraced the mental health. OK, um, you have guys, unfortunately, like uh, Anthony Mundane. He did not. You know, the fame is probably pretty much what crushed him. And I mention his name because he is a guy that took his life, but he is also a guy that um, was also famous. And it shows you how fame can crush you at times if you can't handle it or you let it handle you. Okay, so 
Um, Anthony Mundane was one of those guys that didn't do what Tyson Fury did. It didn't make that doesn't mean that Tyson Fury's above him, but what he Tyson Fury decided to do was bring his problems to the forefront and let people know that, hey, this is what's going on with me. But I'm pretty sure there was a dark time, you know, when he was in that mundane stain when he like he said, he thought about taking his life. So with any any mental health issue. Mental health is very important because you have someone has to take over when you can't think positively or um, safely about yourself. And Tyson Fury did that and he will always be respected. I think that's a lot of what his book was about. And that's what motivates him to you know, to share this with people, because there are times when you do feel void in this world and things are just not what it was, you know, so these things are very, very real, you know, regardless of what people think in the conspiracy of why he did this and did that, you know, when you're suffering from certain things, you know, and you have certain uh, uh, um, demons, right? They'll come to haunt you and you have to understand you have to get them out, exercise them and the way Tyson Fury did it was to bring it to the forefront, you know, and then he is the ambassador of people that go through that. You think of the soldiers, the average soldier that comes back from war, that's not right. You know, that's absolutely right about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, you know, he is the spokesman from everyone because mental health issue is a very broad uh, subject, okay, in many categories within that spectrum, okay? So, um, but you got to take your hat off to Anthony Joshua for acknowledging that you know, to showing props and give credit where credit's due, you know, and also Jonathan Ross, back to him. Jonathan Ross was, you know, um, adamant on, hey, I liked his attitude. I had a certain, you know, um, opinion about how he was, but then when I talked to him, he's not that at all. Uh, I'll share a personal uh, experience with you guys concerning me and Richard Steele. Richard Steele of course, is a promoter now in Las Vegas, but he was a professional referee. And Richard Steele would always get booed um, after his infamous ruling of Julio Cesar Chavez versus Mildred Taylor. And once that happened, he, it was three seconds left. Mildred Taylor was winning the fight, clearly. And he stopped the fight when Mildred Taylor got up. And he didn't allow him mm -hmm. to continue. So everyone bashed him. Everyone. I was one of those everyone people. Uh, until I met him a couple years ago, and it's the nicest person I ever met. And then I immediately started feeling shitty for passing judgment on that man, even though it was a shitty ruling. But just to look at someone and, and, and judge someone by one night that they made a mistake, I think that should be worth mentioning here. OK, but back to this here. Anthony Joshua said, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Tyson Fury will not beat me. So I'm going to take those belts and move on my merry way. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this particular video with Anthony Joshua uh, starring on the Jonathan Ross show. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.